What's up? Chaos1072 here for a random Chaos Toy review. Uh, this video is going to look at Shift Tridorone from Kamen Rider Drive. Sorry, the Japanese accent's kind of a habit when talking about these things. So we have Shift Tridoron in this glorious box showing type Tridoron and a bunch of Shift cars. In fact, I think that's all of them, if not most of them. So let's take a look at the package, just saying it works on the drive driver, how it works, yada, yada, yada. And it's a little bit of the tire, I believe it's blending, I think is the official English naming of the thing. Anyway. So, we have Shift Trider on here, and first thing you're going to notice is, well, you're going to notice two things. One, it does look like Shift Trider on. I mean, it does look like Trider on. Second, there's a giant mirror. In fact, I'm pretty sure that is almost blinding my eye. So, how does this work? Um, simple, and it doesn't have an on and off switch. I would recommend, if you're going to display this, keep this tab in it. So, how does it work, you're asking? There's no lever mode. Here's how it works. Very much like Kiwami and Cosmic before it, all of the sounds are in here, with the driver providing very minimal accompanying sounds. So, how do you get it to go? Well, you have two buttons here. One is the tire blending, and second is the... Honestly, I don't think this is used for anything other than prepping either the henshin or if you're going to use the trailer hoe, prepping to fire that off. So press the button. Fire or engine. So as you can see there's a couple of shift cars and a nice endless kind of garage effect here because apparent this how this was empowered up essentially is all of the shift cars compiled into this. Watch drive episode 33 to understand what happened with this. So now that we're all ready let's bring in our drive driver and Mr. Belt son. And we are shift brakes. So let's start our engine. Start your engine. So let's prep. Let's get ready to hinge it. Yes, like I said, all of the sounds are in the shift trider on. This providing basic, here's a wheel spinning sound. Now, that can be considered a plus or a minus considering how you look at it. On the plus side, you don't need to have this around to get the full effect of this. There's just going to be some slight gaps in the sound. Now with this, it's just, it doesn't even say trider on. It recognizes it, or at least recognizes a blank sound. But I believe it does recognize this as Shift Trideron, although it knows, well it was programmed, that this would have all the sounds. Which shows you that Bandai, pretty much from the get-go, before they release the main belt, already know how the final form's going to work. And this is what they've been doing for the last three or so, not even the last three or four years, because Wizard had all of its stuff programmed. Forze worked very similar to this, where the entire sounds were in the Final Forms gimmick. In this case, the Trideron. Now, in theory, you don't even need the Shift Race, so you can just buy this just to have it, and you can get all of its sounds. Now, let me show you what I mean. Fire or engine. Mind you, the driver is not active. Now how this gimmick works is that this hits a little button in here. Let's see if I can get that focused. There's a little button in here that it hits. This little track hits. Now 
Now that was the sound of its attack or finisher, depending on which button you hit. So let's do the attack. Now here's a problem, depending on how you look at this. This will only say whatever mode it's in once, whereas this will say it if you hit up to three times. Now that is not a complaint for me because I understand that this can't tell what this is doing. It can't tell what mode you're trying to put this in if you're trying to do just a finisher or a normal attack, which I get. Unless there was another button here, or if you hit, I don't know, I'm not a toy designer, these are supposed to be designed at a reasonable price without breaking the bank. So maybe if they make a complete selection modification, it might be able to, but I'm not Bandai, Bandai of Japan. So that's all it does, and I'm not going to worry about showing doing that, because all it does the exact same thing, standby sound, and then the tire no matter what you do. So, now we get into the fun part, which is very similar to how the Kiwami Lock Seed works, so if you have that, you're going to know exactly how this system works. You hit the button, it says three shift cards that form a combination, and then you throttle. And it glows some fancy colors and you can, it does the little bits, little snippets from the tire Kokon of those three tires that it uses in a tire Kakimazen. Now, the thing is, is when you're doing the tire Kakimazen or a tire blending, you can throttle it three times, but all it's going to do is say Kakimazen, how many times you throttle it compared to how many time, how big of a time gap there is between the the throttles and again part of the design but I wish that somehow it could detect you're trying to attack with that tie with that blending three times now you can think oh just hit it and then do try to run but that just results in the henchin again Now, this will remember which tire Kakimazeru you're on. And we'll go on to the next one. Now we get Dr. Hunter Braver. In proof of concept. And it'll say the name of its tire, the name of the combination tire. Now you can do the finisher or an attack. Next one, and I'm just going to run through these because that's essentially how it works. I love how they think of us Americans. Mind you, it is a cab, a slot machine, and a circus themed shift cars involved with this. Love the jingle though. Not sure if I should feel insulted or not. Anyway, next one. Not sure what that's going for. This is a guilty pleasure of mine. Report. 
Traveler, not Trabada. Now, yes, this is very reflective, and I think it's it's going to get very scratched very easily. But the way the gimmick works, it doesn't really highlight the problems with the screen. So, don't worry about that too much. In fact, in episode 34, we see a close-up of this, and the entire screen is very dinged up, so to speak. Next one. This is the three formula tires, and this is the last tire blending that there is. And in case you're wondering, the speaker's on the underside of the shift car. There's something I want to point out about this. Or is it this one? Yeah, this. Kind of getting some Sagozu vibes. Not sure why, just kind of how I'm feeling about it. So, that is the ship Trider on in the Drive Driver. Now, it will not fit in the Mach Driver. It will fit in the... Uh, what was I going to say? It does fit in the brake gunner, but it does not really read this. And it does read in the... Wow. Trailer hoe. So it will say, Try it on ho! Which I do have, but it is not anywhere near me at the moment. But trust me, it does read it. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the next Chaos Toy Review or Let's Ramble. Whenever that may be, because I don't even know. So thank you guys for watching. And let me know how you felt about Drive's whole gimmick. We have a few more shift cars coming out with the summer movie. But this is the final form, so this is pretty much the end of the line. So let me know how you guys think about the whole Drive gimmick. Whether you like Drive's driver or the mock driver Hono more. Please let me know. I personally prefer how the mock driver sounds, but this also has a lot of fun. So thank you, and I'll catch you next time.